guys, Seth here. Hope you're all doing great. Um, welcome to my movie review of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Here's what I think of the movie. A lot better than um, Crystal Skull, I will say. It correct it corrected the errors that they mistakes that they made with with, with Shia LaBeouf's character in the fourth film, but also added an emotional element to it. Though. They returned to its roots for the Indiana Jones movies. Um, not quite as it's almost just as good as the originals. Probably not just as great as Raiders or Last Crusade. But um, I will say it's definitely better than Kingdom of Crystal Skull. Skull that I, I'll get that out of the way. It didn't rely too much on nostalgia. I liked the action, action sequences. I thought Helena Helena Shaw's character was 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 great when it comes to her action sequences. That that was well done and her serious emotional acting. I think um, when it comes to her, when it comes to her, her humor side, it can get really irritating and annoying sometimes though. But um, overall, this feels like an Indiana Jones movie. Um, they got it right, and I thought it was a really well done movie. Do I think this is a finale that we all deserve for Indiana Jones? I think Last Crusade was a better finale, though, for and they should have kept it as a trilogy. But just my opinion, this could have been this. I mean, this was a this was a really well done film, nonetheless. I I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a real fun adventure. When it comes to the CGI of um, of de aging Harrison Ford. Which they did according to the trailer and also in the opening scene, which I'm not going to spoil, but um, it's very noticeable because when when when, when Harrison speaks from de aging um, effects though from from young Harrison Ford, you, you can definitely tell that it was it, it, it's old Harrison's voice rather than um, rather than young Harrison's voice. But but when he gets into character, it, it, he gets into it pretty well. But overall, um, Harrison Ford did a phenomenal job playing Indiana Jones once more. He reminds us why he's still the great Indiana Jones. And why he's the great archaeologist. And as for the um, the, the treasures they found, um, they do not find aliens this time. Thank God. They don't rely on practical effects. They use fist fights, um, whips, yes, everything that you want for an Indiana Jones film. Heck, even for artifacts though, they they go back to religious artifacts though. And I, I, I appreciate what they did. It's got some sweet effects. John Williams' score was excellent and well done. Um, would I consider this the finale? Yes. Would I consider this the greatest finale to Indiana Jones? Yes, but I, I like Last Crusade better. But I wish we could have got more of a, 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 of, an, a, of a great of a great standing ovation finale. Oh, but it was it was standing ovation nonetheless. But I kind of wanted more though. Um, overall, I recommend this film for any all Indiana Jones fans. I enjoyed the heck out of this film. I know there'll be some who disagree and some who won't, but um, that's just the reality of movies today. But um, I give this film a solid 9.5 out of 10. As for where I put it in Indiana Jones rankings, I'll let you know in, in a week or two because I'm still deciding whether I rank it above Temple of Doom or rank it below Temple of Doom and then Crystal Skull because obviously Crystal Skull, Crystal Skull is going to be last. Anyways, guys, um, that'll do for a review for now. Um, we'll, we'll see you all next time for TMNT Mutant Mayhem on early August. So well, we may have the flow crew, maybe the sub brothers, who knows? But um, we are at the tipping point. We, we are at the halfway point of the year. So, um, guys, uh, did you guys see Indiana Jones? What do you what do you think of it? Do you think this is a good finale? Let let me know in the comments below. Um, as always, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see y'all later. Remember to feel the destiny. See you guys.